Hello, everybody. Good morning. Greetings and welcome. It's showtime. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can see I don't do anything constructive on the computer. I just spend a lot of time uh, making little videos and having a good time. You'll see some of my other videos later on. Um, thank you for coming. This is, probably, this is the fourth year we're doing this. It started off, um, we started off with, with a cardiac course once, and then we went to Resus 2010, and then we started the EM course. And every year, we kind of double in size. Uh, our job is to bring you practical emergency medicine, stuff that you can use, acute medicine that you can use the second you walk out of here. What we're going to do is, I just wanted to, to tell you, give you two slides, something to think about. The days are long, okay? We'll be doing eight, nine hour days. The breaks are short. And there'll come a time when you want to give it up and walk out and take a break and go and gamble and do all sorts of stuff. So I think it's important to just quickly, two slides, to talk to you about something called Zip's Law and really talk to you about ice cream, one of my favourite things in the world, not that you can tell. Um, what's the most, what, what do you think is the most popular flavour? Th these are the ten sort of popular flavours in ice cream. Is this an emergency conference? Yeah. What, who, who, call out, which one of these do you think is the most popular? popular flavour. Who thinks vanilla? Right. That's a lot of the room. Chocolate? All right. Well, it's split almost evenly. In fact, vanilla is the most popular. What's that got to do with anything? People would say that vanilla's... This is actually the order in which their, their popularity is. So vanilla's the most popular coming chocolate second onward. And people will say that vanilla will only be a little bit more popular than chocolate. And so vanilla gets a little bit more in terms of sales and benefit than chocolate. But if you look at the graph of vanilla sales to everything else, vanilla outstrips all of the others by a mile. What's this got to do with what we do? When you're at the top of your game, when you really sharpen your skills, the difference between the best in the game and the second best is vast. And very recently there was a book that came out by a guy called Seth Godin, who's a marketing and business guru called The Dip. And The Dip looks at, and this is a real phenomenon, looks at what happens when we just get a little bit overwhelmed and a bit overworked and we don't want to take ourselves to the next level. And most people will tend to want to give up at this point. This is the point, the dip. This is the bit that when you've got that big fire hydrant and you're trying to open the hose, you're right up to the end and you've got one more, one more turn before it lets loose. This is the dip. If you give up here, you'll, you'll get no benefit. But if you push, if you lean into it just a little bit harder, and this weekend, if you stay awake a little bit longer, if you take one extra note, if you don't bury yourself in the notes but actually listen to the speakers and see what can I take away from this and use this practically, you overcome this dip. This is very important because the benefits you will reap and your patients will reap because of your knowledge are significant when you overcome that dip. So. I invite you all to be vanilla ice cream with me this weekend. I'm going to go just as hard as you all are. Um, I want you to ask questions. We're going to try and have some time at the end, if we can, to ask some questions. But what we may end up doing is keep going through the talks, and the speakers are all here during the breaks for you to ask questions of. So, without further ado, I might just...